her role as the first woman on the court was an iconic one and was really a watershed moment for so many women who realized, wow, look, look at what is possible. There's a slogan that uh, success has a thousand fathers. <laughs> and it's one of those stories. Uh, there are a lot of different versions about what may have been influential in getting mom's name in front of uh, President Reagan. A, a very warm affection that President Reagan had identifying with this cowgirl type. You know, he, he kind of liked to go chop wood and ride horses and play ranching, right? So she embodied all of those things, and I think he really just uh, connected with that, that image, if you will. I mean, she clearly was, in Arizona, arguably the most prominent or one of the most prominent women political figures in the state at the time. She had served in all three branches of the government. She was the first majority leader in the country. And I think what we're hearing is that the people who interacted with her realized that she was this amazing talent. And so when Reagan put the word out, you know, in his speeches that he wanted to nominate a woman, it was natural that dozens of prominent people from Arizona all suggested her name as some of the serious, you know, a serious candidate. Everybody is talking about you've got to take a look at the at this woman who is not known on a national stage, but is now very well known in Arizona. My dad always said, if she ever gets an interview for this position, she'll get the job, and he was dead right. Her being, if you will, discovered or found by the system uh, really restored my faith in our government's promise that. Uh, you know, if you work hard and you've got the moxie, you can do anything and be anything. Uh, I, that was probably the biggest proof of that in my life, uh, was to see that bolt of lightning come down and find mom. She held her own and was admired as a good justice. And um, obviously you're not gonna please everybody with every decision, uh, but she uh, ended up being an awfully popular figure in our country's history.